All right, here looking at the Baker home. Just wanted to walk through real quick what we're looking at. So the siding or the ephus would be uh, repainted as well as the trim. It is two colors right now. So the ephus would be one color. The trim would be a white color. Um, the shutters and doors would all go a different color. So that would be a third color on there. It'll be darker than what it currently is. Um, I matched the siding, the ephus color and the trim color. Um, and you would just be um, have to let me know on the shutter color, which would be no issue. If you need help with that, I'd be happy to help. So on the front of the home, the ephus is the main portion of it. Um, you've got some areas that need to be washed really well. I mean, uh, the ephus overall needs to be washed. As you can tell, it's got some dirt that's settled in those kind of those grooves, but you can tell here, areas like that need to be washed um, even better than the normal wash just because it's got a buildup of algae on it. Um, this front area up here, this rail, this will be new and we will not need to paint that. The wood repair in this corner will also be done, so we will not have to do anything there. As far as repair is concerned, we'll just have to caulk it, seal it up, and paint it. These columns and door doors will be uh, included in the pricing as well as the ceiling on the porch. Um, again, all the ephus trim, all that will be part of the quote to be painted new roof is being replaced so or the new roof is being installed so that would come after the painting would come after the roof is done um, and then new gutters more than likely will be put on so we do not need to paint the gutters and downspouts as well around here just want to highlight a couple areas for you so the garage doors three garage doors a dormer up here that needs to be done um, you can tell again it needs to be washed well on the ephus there. Got areas that need to be caulked, so along the brick line here needs to be recaulked. You can see where the cracking is occurring. And you've got recaulking that needs to happen along the weather strip as well. Some peeling on the frames, which needs to be primed and painted. Uh, but this area, there's not a lot on the uh, right side of the home. Pretty straightforward there. Again, just need to make sure we recaulk along that garage area. Then on the back of the home, you've got chimney. It's pretty tall, so just need to make sure we do our due diligence. The pitch is pretty steep as well, so just want to highlight that. Again, EFIS needs to be cleaned really well, uh, but you can see a couple doors, three doors back here. Um, nothing on the fencing, but inside that ephus in there needs to be repainted. Same thing over here. You got this large back porch area, columns redone, the ceiling redone, the trim around the top redone, uh, the door over here. Then you've got this area here again. Just need to make sure we caulk and wash really well. Again, you've got some areas on this, these columns that needs to be scraped and primed to make sure that that paint doesn't come off and that's pretty much it there and then go over to the last side here because there is one area just want to highlight a chimney it's pretty high up just want to highlight that for you and see it from here but the chimney up top there again that pitch is pretty steep so want to make sure that we have an idea of what to expect when we come out and then you've got ephus on this side of the home here as well and then obviously the trim work above again you'll see over here needs to be washed really well on that ephus probably won't come all clean but just want to highlight that this ledge all the way around is ephus so that needs to be washed really well you can see how much dirt has settled on there same thing here you've got a lot of algae buildup on the ephus and on the ledge. So just wanna make sure we highlight that, get that all washed up for you. And then there will be random caulk, uh, cracks in the ephus like that, that need to be caulked with masonry caulking just to make sure we seal it up and it doesn't get substantially worse, which it most likely won't, but just wanna make sure it's sealed up so moisture can't get in there to cause it to get worse. But that's pretty much the scope of the work. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. I'll be happy to help.